When filming the Vanderpump Rules reunion, Tom Sandoval appeared anxious and was smoking a cigarette outside, which shocked fans. Ariana Maddox, his ex-girlfriend whom he cheated on with Rachel Levis, a co-star on VPR, however, appeared composed as she entered the Los Angeles shooting location. Tom, 39, was spotted stopping to take a cigarette break while filming the Bravo reality show. With the exception of a white button-down top, he was all black. He wore a jacket that was a little too big, black pants, and black sneakers. The reality TV star wore a Gucci belt with a gold clasp as an accessory. His fingers were covered in white nail varnish, which he had been wearing for a while. Tom was observed not just smoking, but also holding a takeout coffee cup, the contents of which are unknown. As he took his break, he had an anxious expression on his face. Surrounding cameras had captured Tom arriving earlier that day to start filming the special. It didn't seem like he was feeling any better at the moment. The native of Missouri wore black slacks once more, but this time he wore them with a black t-shirt and a more form-fitting black coat that hung over his thighs. He wore a silver necklace and a black baseball cap to protect his face. Once more, Tom was smoking and carrying about what looked like a cup of coffee. He was once observed smoking behind a pair of dark sunglasses while standing next to someone who was probably a member of the production crew. Rickle was also spotted, but she avoided putting makeup on her face if she was stressed. The former beauty pageant queen was wearing a strappy pair of high heels and a silky minty green dress that hung over one shoulder. Her short, Sandy blonde hair had a tiny twist to it. She headed inside, shielding her coif under a transparent umbrella. Ariana's arrival was also caught on camera, and it seems that she took it as an opportunity to make a daring statement. The woman was observed navigating the filming location while donning a yellow sweatsuit with the words 1-800-BOYS-LIE printed on her breast. Not too long after Andy, seated next to Ariana, posted on his Instagram story from the set. Ariana, is it safe to say you're wearing a revenge dress today? He looked to be asking her and her co-star Lisa Vanderpump in the video. In response, Ariana said, It certainly appears that way. I predict that his eyes will bleed. She laughed along with the host of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen as he said, I'm actually feeling a little activated myself but neither Andy nor Ariana disclosed the appearance. Bravo unveiled the official seating charts for the reunion on Thursday, informing fans that two separate configurations were chosen to enable Raquel and her VPR co-star Sheena Shea to attend in person without any problems. Raquel recently requested and was granted a temporary restraining order against Sheena, alleging that the former best friend of hers physically assaulted her in New York City following the taping of a WWHL episode. Just prior to the information being public, Rachel is reported to have acknowledged having an affair with Tom, which is when the alleged incident allegedly occurred. The cheating scandal and Tom and Ariana's subsequent breakup were originally covered by TMZ. As with all Bravo reunion shows, Andy will take the center seat. Ariana will be on one side of him, while Lissa69, the owner of the eateries in the heart of VPR, will be on the other. Tom Schwartz will be seated next to Lisa on Andy's left, followed by Reco. Katie Maloney will be seated next to Ariana on his right, followed by James Kennedy and Lala Kent. Reco won't be on stage with Skeena. Rather, Sheena will be seated at the end, and the two Toms, who jointly run Schwartz and Sandy's and Tom Tom, will shift close to one another. Many fans had been curious about how Bravo would shoot the reunion with Rackle and Sheena while adhering to the restrictions of the restraining order before the big announcement. The VPR co-stars are not allowed to be within 100 feet of one another while the order is in effect. The VPR reunion will air a few weeks from now, Bravo fans. However, the show is still showing in the interim, and episodes that depict the fallout from the drama surrounding the adultery, called Scandoval, have been added to the season's finale. 
Ever since discovering Tom and Rachel's scandalous romance, viewers have been sifting through episodes in search of hints. Several observers felt that the event on Wednesday was full of signs. Some people believe that all the signals were there, even though the episode was shot long before the cheating scandal. Rachel interrupted a cast boy's night early in the play after a girl's trip with Kate and Lala went awry. Rickle was seen putting an end to the drama, accusing her former girlfriends of being unkind to her and setting her up, but they were also critical of her for appreciating her single status, starting new relationships, and kissing men while out on the town. Fans felt it was telling that Tom and the other male cast members, including Katie's ex-husband Tom, supported her. Additionally, as Rackle bemoaned, astute watchers noticed Tom Sandoval rolling his eyes. I was being young and fun and single, living my life, and these girls like literally set me up, making it seem like I'm only chasing after guys that they're interested in. A commenter on Twitter wrote, Sandoval rolling his eyes at Lala's comment about not trusting Raquel around men. Babe, <laughs> Rickle spoke with her ex fiance James Kennedy, about his sudden departure from the earlier trip later in the episode. Well, we'll be around each other in instances where Ally probably won't be around, Rickle said in response to the DJ's admission that her current girlfriend didn't feel comfortable with him being around her. I mean, I don't know if she's going to the pool party at Tom Sandoval's later this week. When James mentioned that he hadn't heard about the celebration, Rachel answered, well, you're invited. I was told by Tom Sandoval. Following the comment, many fans on Twitter expressed shock and thought it was the biggest hint yet that the affair was happening. Um, Tom Sandoval told Rachel that she could invite James to his and Ariana's pool party? A fan commented, this raises a lot of red flags. Another person wrote on Twitter, Rekel inviting James Kennedy to Tom and Ariana's pool party on behalf of Tom was telling. A third person on Twitter stated, James was invited by Ray Q.E.L. to Tom's pool party. The indicators, the warning signs, um, Josh, that's all right. Additionally, isn't it A.R.I.A.N.A.'s pool party? Why does Rackle not mention her name? The disregard. Another person said, Sandoval told me, oh, okay. So Rekel says Tom Sandoval's party instead of Tom and Ariana's party, an additional tweet stated. Not Rekel saying pool party at Tom Sandoval's in lieu of Ariana's was the sixth tweet. After the pool party started, supporters believed the hints would keep coming in. While Ariana, who was not yet involved in the drama, and the other members of the cast watched, Rekel engaged in combat with Lala and Katie. But Tom Sandoval kept interjecting himself into the argument and standing up for Rico. When he called out Lala for being a bully to Rako, supporters noticed. At the time, the reality star remarked, Will you stop? I will never be able to forget the mindless bully you were to her, without cause. It all makes sense now that Rakel is watching Tom's gas up. She's really, really desperate, a fan commented. Rickle smiled as she discussed the situation, opening up to TMZ about the affair hours before the show aired.